Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost a week away from the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and it appears as though we are going to be getting launch comms or intel or blog posts every single day all the way up into the launch of Black Ops 6. I will show you what I mean in a second. First of all, the one that we got today and the one that we'll be going over is the multiplayer intel. Now, as far as this one goes, it goes into a few different things, modes, maps, and operators. So those are the main things that we're gonna be looking at today. However, if we scroll down to the bottom here, there is a section in this that is called unredacted launch comms incoming. And it says, expect further critical intel to be unredacted in the coming days as we confirm additional launch content across multiplayer and zombies. Look for the following missives. So today we have the multiplayer and more. So that's what we're talking about today. Then I'm assuming Tomorrow, we have the zombies mode prep. And then after that, we have weapons hot. Then we have gear up. This one kind of seems the least interesting, honestly. Score streaks, wild card, combat specialties. But it's going to tell us all of them that are coming at launch. And then finally, the one that I am most interested in, the progression. This one includes uh, calling cards, reticles, mastery badges, challenges. Plus, are you ready for a deep dive into weapon camo system? Hell yeah, we are. So that is all coming later on. We don't know the exact dates yet. Now, what is in here? So let's start out with the standard modes for multiplayer. So pretty simple. We have Team Deathmatch. We can see what the kind of logos are um, for the individual modes, which I will say do look pretty good. They look Black Ops style, which I like to see. Then we have Domination. We all know what Domination is. The only difference in this game is it's not flags you're capturing. It's zones that you're capturing. Uh, Search and Destroy, that is coming right at launch. So that is always good to see. Um, then we have Kill Confirmed. We know this one. This is Warhead, as you can see here. Um, you can see actually a nuke is on the map. It says Archie's Boom Revival's Doom on the nuke, which is kind of interesting. Um, then we have Free For All. This is the, we, we all know what Free For All is. Hard Point. We all know what Hard Point is. Then we have Gunfight, but it says 6v6 Gunfight up here. And then down here, it says 2v2. So I'm assuming that this was a mistake. Um, I'm assuming Gunfight is supposed to be 2v2. So it's eliminate all players using the predetermined classes to win around no news yet about gunfight tournaments my fingers are crossed i love gunfight tournaments i like when they had the weekly rewards for gunfight tournaments and i'm hoping that comes back uh, but also really weird that this one says 2v2 and this one says 6v6 um headquarters is 6v6 we know what this mode is Kill order. So this is the one that was in the beta where you have the high value target uh, control. This is a returning mode. Take turns attacking and defending the zones. For some reason, this one doesn't show an icon. Then we have alternate modes. So these are on the face off map. So these are on the small maps. We have face off domination, which is 6v6 face off team deathmatch, which is 6v6 face off kill order. And finally, face off kill confirmed. Now, if you are a hardcore player, we are getting hardcore at lunch. Also, wicked shot of Gregory Weaver here. Uh, we have team deathmatch kill order domination hard point search and destroy kill confirmed free for all and face off mosh pit so those are all of the modes and it says here looking for a challenge where your matches only have a limited hud friendly fire enabled and your health is lowered significantly then prepare for hardcore scheduled to launch and a on these certain playlists so it's going to be on at launch just on those playlists they also have additional mode intel. So this is the training course that you are seeing here. This is the practice Omni movement. It's kind of a strange one. This is the same thing that was in there during the beta. Now, they also revealed what the firing range is going to look like. So it does seem like a better version of the firing range than we previously had. We have practice dummies that you can shoot at 10, 25, and 50 meters. You can also adjust the amount of armor plates that dummies have. So if you're playing multiplayer, you probably want them to have zero. But if you're playing Warzone, you can adjust it so there are one, two, or three armor plates being added to them, which kind of gives you more information. You also have limitless ammunition. I think that's pretty simple. Now in the upper left hand corner of the screen when you're in there you can have a tracker that tracks the amount of eliminations you have, an accuracy tracker that tells you how accurate you are, as well as a damage tracker that will tell you how much damage you have done which is good for knowing stats. Uh, you can also toggle two different options. You can turn on moving targets which puts your target on a conveyor belt as you shoot it or a recoil target which is a metal plate that hangs down from the ceiling that'll basically show you the recoil pattern and spread of your weapon which I believe has never been done before which is a really really good thing if you ask me 
Then of course we have theater mode. Um, what's interesting about theater mode is you can switch between first and third person and fly cam perspectives for all players in the match, which is cool. That'll help stop hackers as well, which I like to see. Also, we'll give some really cool shots for videos. Uh, eliminations and deaths are visualized on the timeline. Easy to skip to where you go crazy in a match. Uh, fast forward and rewind and full playback speed controls. You can press record to trigger Xbox or PlayStation recording while in theater mode. So that's really cool. Also, they say once you record a match, it'll be there for seven days or until there is an update. Also, private matches are coming. There should be no surprise there whatsoever. The next one we're going to go over fairly quickly because these we all know about all of these. Um, that is the launch map. So our core 6v6 maps include Babylon, Derelict, Low Town. So this is one of the new ones that we haven't played on yet. Payback, which is actually the safe house from the campaign. We have Protocol. This one was in the beta only, kind of. Then we have Red Card, which looks like interesting. It looks like one of the bigger maps in the game. Rewind. We know that one from the beta. Scud. Skyline. Then we have Subsonic. This one looks incredibly, incredibly tiny. Vault. And then Verkuda, which again, we know what this one is. I'm very interested to see what that one is like in the campaign. Now we also have the strike maps, which include Gala, which is a 2v2 and 6v6 map. We have the Pit, which is 2v2 and 6v6. We have Stakeout, which is 2v2 and 6v6. And finally, Warhead. This is the one that's interesting. Uh, we are also going to be getting Nuketown coming very, very soon. But yeah, not much on that. So then we get into Operators and Factions. So we have two different factions. First of all, we have the Rogue Black Ops. So this is one of the factions that you are looking at here, as well as the Crimson one. So there's kind of backstory to all of these. Now, in this video, I am not going to go over all of the characters' backstories, but if you would like to see me go into all of these characters' backstories, maybe in a separate video, um, hit that like button and let me know, and we can probably do that before the game even comes out. So what's interesting is when we look at how we unlock these various different skins. So for the Rogue Black Ops, we have Adler, who is unlocked by pre-ordering the Vault Edition. Park, who is also from the Vault Edition. Then we have Woods, which is for pre-ordering the game. Then we have Nazir and West Point, which you are available immediately when playing the game. Then we have Bayan, I think that's how you say that, who is unlocked at level 22. We have Alvarez, which is unlocked at level 7. Payne, who is unlocked at level 13. Marshall, who is one of the characters in the campaign, who is available at 34. Then we have Weaver, who is of course a part of Zombies and is available immediately. And Maya, who is a part of Zombies and is available immediately. Now on the Crimson One side of things, first of all, we have Brutus, who is available from the Vault Edition. Klaus, who is available from the Vault Edition. Rossi is unlocked at level 16. Kane is available immediately. Niren, who is available immediately. Toro, who is unlocked at level 10. Now, I'm also interested to see whether if when you prestige, these characters are relocked or not. I'm not sure. Bailey, who is unlocked at 28. Stone, who is my personal favorite, unlocked at level 40. And then we have Carver from Zombies and Gray, who are both available immediately. Now, again, one of the things that we don't know is whether or not these characters are when you unlock them, if they're permanently unlocked or if they are relocked once you prestige. It's something that's never explained. And we probably won't find out until we get that blog post. But that is what we know for the operators as of now. And again, like I was saying, if you want to see me do like a kind of deep dive into all of the characters back, stories hit that like button and it's something we can do it's something i've done every single year on the channel so if you want to see it once again let me know but for now this is all of the information we know the next comms i believe that we're getting is the zombies mode prep so that'll be interesting it goes over augments gobblegums equipment uh and as well as a term uh tour of terminus and liberty falls with some additional updates to come as well so i believe that's what we'll be getting tomorrow but for now this has been the information for multiplayer if you enjoyed hit that like button subscribe turn notifications on all of that jazz thank you so much for watching and until next time peace we are we are reaching for the stars but